An outburst of cry has flood engulfed the people of Onebony in Imegu in a back local government area of a boy city. <laughs> The flood which have overthrown some of the villagers out of their house is said to be linked by the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project cited in the place. Ms. Mweke Angela, a flood victim which her house was demolished and now lives in Bacha and flood has covered the Bacha, said she is helpless and urged government to come to her aid so that flood will not engulf her and her children at night as she is helpless. The village head on a bony in Megan government area, Chief Christopher Esha, in an interview said, This is a first rain of the year and expressed fear over what may happen if another rain fall at night, that the rain and the flood may ambush the residents and put them in very great dismay. My name is Esha Christopher. You, you are a village head. My feeling is as a leader of this village, honorable in my in the Junibu community, Abakali, Abakali State. First rain, as a rain that fall, and uh, this flood, as it stands now, we are very shocked because we don't know what will happen at the next rain. We are I'm feeling so sad because since ever such flood can never happen as it as it stands now. But we are we are so afraid of tomorrow because we don't know what may happen tomorrow. Suddenly if this rain fall at the, at night somebody might be at their rooms Flood will come and carry them. It is very bad. And as this as they do this thing now, it helps bring this overflowing now. Because since ever it it, it, it it never happened so. And we are pleading government, the state government and Nigerian government, let them close this drainage. Let them try and make it to follow where river followed before. It will help us. That EU, EU, uh, EU delay. Let them follow that EU delay. Mr. Iroko Kletus, one of the victims, said that the flood have never occurred in the village in this extent and emphasized that this is caused by the action of the new map who come and divert the water channel and follow the middle of the village. He finally urged government to come to their aid as his house is falling and his children are not safe. He speak in his language. <laughs> Because 
Mrs. Alec Agnes urged a boy state government to come to their aid as their food and properties are damaged by flood and as well advised that a boy river should be expanded to accommodate more water flow. To come and follow that side, the supposed to follow the channel and the wide uh, Ebony River, so that when this, something like this will come, it will just enter that territory. Mr. Clement Mwamini, one of the victims, said, Since he was born, he has never experienced this kind of flood in the area, and said, The cause of the flood is what no map did in the area. He appealed the government to, to close the water channel created by no map and follow the natural water channel EU Dele. My experience is that ever since I was born until I reached to this age, I have never seen this kind of flood. And the causes of this flood is what the new map did to us here because we pleaded with them. Let them follow uh, the main waterways, and they say they don't have money to follow there. That this is the easiest way to follow. So we pleaded with them. We even tried to offer them money. They said no, that they must follow here. Look at my house over there. We have never experienced a flood there. Okay, look at this man. Here is, ever since we have born, we have never experienced water or flood here. This is where the flood used to follow, down there, and follow like that, enter roads. So see what they have done to us. See our children here. See others. Nobody is going out now. Everybody is packing out. So we don't know what to do. My appeal to government is that if they can cancel this thing here, because they did it at Calabar, and they cancel the thing, and put it in a water channel. Let them put this thing in water channel. Okay, look at the small rain that just fell now. See what is going going on here. What of if uh, we enter the main rainy season? What are we going to do? It's going to pursue everybody away. Please, I'm pleading the state government to help us and feed this, uh, close this thing back. Put it in that water channel. That is where the thing is supposed to be. And that place is a bush. Nobody is living there. Miss Amakachima, a woman police, who flood has covered her house, and a woman of eight children, said they are taking refuge in their neighbor's house. Everybody is running away from their home. Even me and my children, we are not in our houses now. They are squatting in our neighbor's house. No, we know the size of your, uh, your family. How many, how many are you? We are eight in number. Miss Amakachima said all her property are damaged. Three bags of cement, 13 bags of rice, Two phones and her food, including her police uniform, is covered by the flood in her house. Mm, I have three bags of cement inside the house. Thirteen bags of cement? Yes. Rice. That what? Like how much? Each bag is three bushels of rice. If I mill it, three bags is... That be now, the, the estimate should be mm. around how much? It's, it's, it's five hundred and something thousand. Okay, no. And three bags of cement. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel The Mirror TV on YouTube, The Mirror on Facebook, The Mirror TV on Twitter. Subscribe and follow us as we shall be giving you updates of the activities here in Ebon State and across the globe. For advert placement or sponsorship, call the number showing on the screen or email us at mbamsilvestavi 